Phoenix had weathered the storm of Typhon's rage. For now. Finally, after much climbing, Phoenix reached Hephaestus' hammer. <laughs> sorry! Sorry! I'll stop! <laughs> Ah, the Forge Lands. The many workshops. The soaring peaks. Are we on a guided tour here or something? The ancient creations, wasted by Typhon's endless appetite for destruction. Someone down there was alive, working, and seemingly happy. Definitely not Hephaestus, then. That whining, sniveling coward never smiled a day in his life. Have you... have you listened to a word of this story? Things have changed. That art, so are an appreciator. I'm a warrior. Or the sibling of a warrior. I'm warrior adjacent. Anyway, I'm here to stop Typhon. Hmm. That checks out. You didn't look like much of an appreciator, no offense. But maybe this will change your mind. A little box? That is so my last face. I signed it, though. You can keep it. No need to thank me. I can't read this. You're a sculptor. I scaled your statue. You're Hephaestus, right? I'm so excited to meet you in person. So, not that one. Fine. That's fine. Totally fine. But I have others. your essence so we can defeat Typhon. Do you know where it is? No? Confusion? Oh, Rapture. Are you wrapped? This is just my face. How can you art at a time like this? Don't you know what's happening? I think it's safe to say I do not. Typhon? Everyone turned to stone? Gods all lost their essences? Evil monsters everywhere! End of the world! You really have no memory whatsoever? Who needs the past when you can shape the future? It'd be easier to shape the future with hands. Typhon stole them, I assume. Ripped them from your limbs? tortured you endlessly. Something? You really need to sit down with this Typhon guy. Talk it out. 
and no, my hands had enough of making art and scurried off together. I'd love to say good riddance to the both of them, but an artist without hands is like an appreciator with a typhoon obsession. Useless. They can't have gone far. And who knows? Maybe if I get them back, they'll jog your memory. Save the applause for when I come back. I could sculpt a tree with happy little tree friends. Do trees have friends? <sighs> this place looks like a battlefield. Or a graveyard. Gates and above the wreckage left in Typhon's wake, Felix spied what looked like a working automaton hand. automaton thing artist works that's what i said look i found your hands industrious typhoon obsessed appreciator you are full of surprises hold still while i just Memory, huh? No. Well, maybe one. I work there. A pearl in rough seats. Forge fires lit. A wise child convinced. A feather's weight of wit. Forge fires lit. Forge fires lit! Your forge is part of the prophecy! It must be the answer! You have to remember! The forge! 
the glowy blessing thingy that just came out of your hands. You are a god. Flattery. I think you're great too. No, an actual god. Back home, I told dozens of different stories about you. Myths, legends, gods, monsters, all of it. You're Hephaestus, the god of the forge. Remember? I always thought I was a jerry. Oh, maybe. This isn't working. We have to jog your memory to find your essence. I need you to think. How do we start the forge? Ventilation shafts tunnel air to four coal burning furnaces. A network of canals must feed frigid waters through water wheels to the summit. Central combustion is controlled through two mechanisms in the forge core. How do you know that? Know what? Forget it. Unblock vents, start fires, spin water wheels, then something about mechanisms. Stay here and make sure those hands don't go anywhere. Instead of painting on a pot that has food in it, what if the painting is a pot with food in it? Upon something so grand, so gargantuan, so spectacularly crafty, so over it, just get a room already. Well, I would if I could. Professor's forge is that incredible.
It's not all that. One more to go.
forge, she discovered its most important component, the water wheels. Why does a forge need water? Look, Zeus, I do futures. That's my thing, not forges. Back to life. step closer to freeing the forge from Typhon's grip. Little did Phoenix know, however, that the worst was yet to come. Blocking the forge's ventilation. Phoenix <laughs> cleared the first vent, but realized there must be another.
suffer, but it will be worth it. Itself was dead. That's what that smell was. I honestly thought it was me. Vents cleared, water flowing, furnace is burning. Time to go to the heart of the forge. And that one could be a hammer. Hephaestus has the mightiest hammer ever crafted. Ha! 
represents this forge and that one matches the statue outside these are some kind of clue was calling me. I couldn't ignore it. About that. I cleared the vents, started the fires, and got the water wheels moving. Even unlocked some strange glyphs inside, but nothing happened. Well, I was talking to my friends as well as, and they said they're the key to restarting it. They have to touch things. Now we're talking. Zeus. This place is ancient. They say you built this entire forge yourself. Me? But it's so grim, so dirty, and that lighting.
Santos, come out. Ah, uh, you're okay. What is this? Such pain in these markings. Sorrow? Suffering? Real art. I'd say you were trying to leave us a message. Me? How mixed media? I think past you left a clue to recover your memory. Something Typhon couldn't decipher. Can you read any of it? It's incomplete. Hephaestus, you genius! It is missing a piece. Now, where did I put it? This isn't your signature, Hephaestus. It's the rest of the puzzle. Hammer, a forge's fire, the statue, and this box. Do you know what this is? Of course, he did not know what it was. But in their possession was Pandora's box. You dare to open this again? Chaining you to this rock was your justice for giving fire to mortals. Pandora's box was the mortals' justice. So you forced your son Hephaestus to forge a box capable of unleashing every conceivable evil upon them? That's justice? Hephaestus was happy to oblige. He knew what he was doing. He did what he was ordered to do after you tortured him for his entire existence. Don't you talk about my son! Pandora acted with innocent curiosity by opening that box. You acted with vile contempt! I gave them a warning, and look what happened! Mortals ravaged and defiled their world and each other. Clearly, the warning was not enough. It's finished now. They are stone, and Pandora's box was the beginning of the end. So, first, we need a hammer. Check. Where did you... Never mind. I think past you is telling us we need to imbue that hammer with the power of the forge's fire, then break through here. That is so me. If I'm reading this right, your essence is underneath. But that's not all. I told you what this is. That would be a box. No. Well, yes. But also, it used to contain every kind of suffering. Enough suffering to fill the world. And you suffered, Hephaestus. A lot. Cast from Mount Olympus. Rejected. Alone. No matter how generous you were. No matter how hard-working. Every god rejected you just because you were different. This box is the final clue. I think Typhon stole your suffering. And that's why you lost your memories. So... To get my memories, to get my talent back. You mean feeling the pain that's been locked away. Go!
will yet wash over this land. Despite the extreme heat, Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. Prometheus, this is pushing it. No human could dream of holding that hammer. Or holding your lightning. And yet, absorbing the power of the flames, the hammer came alive. And with it, Phoenix released the second of Hephaestus' blessings. With the hammer revived, and Hephaestus' suffering trapped below, all Phoenix had to do now was jump.